Hey, welcome guys. In this video, we're doing an unboxing of the Sony WH-1000XM3 wireless noise cancelling headphones. I'm really stoked about these headphones as our noise cancelling. Um, they do have some support for Google Assistant as far as I understand. Um, it says it's certified to work with iPhone and iOS devices as well as Android at the top. And over at the back, you have some of the quick features. So my understanding also is that there's no real control buttons. It's all touch based. So you swipe forward to uh, fast forward, swipe back to uh, go to the previous track, for example. So pretty interesting stuff here. So I'm just trying to figure out how to open this up. It seems a little bit tough. Uh, it's kind of snug in there, right? So just struggling just a little bit. So just trying to get this open. Um, So what you guys just saw was me getting scanned out of, in Canadian dollars, $500 headphones. So somewhere between manufacturing and up until the shelf on Best Buy, uh, someone replaced the headphones with Play-Doh so it felt heavy and resealed the plastic. As you saw in this video, I actually tore off the plastic seal so it looked legit and felt legit. And I was the one that was victim of a scam. So I had to take it back to Best Buy and get this resolved. And the customer care agent there was a teenager, probably 16, 17 years old. And when I explained the situation and he opened the box, he was like, whoa, man. And his voice went all high pitched, which is pretty hilarious. I then told him I have video proof because I do unboxing videos on YouTube. And when he watched the video on my cell phone, he was just like, holy sh**. So his reaction was even better. He then called over a supervisor who kind of was confused, but laughed it off. Then called their manager, who was an old man. And when we explained the situation and showed him the video, his eyes were ready to pop out of his head. Like, they were like gonna bulge out. Now, all three of them did find it weird and bizarre that I had video recording of me taking out of the box. Now, they actually assumed that I was the one scamming them, which is legit, I understand that. It was only after I explained that I have a YouTube channel with tens of thousands of subscribers, which I'm willing to show them on my cell phone, that I'm actually the one that got scammed. And they understood it and they kind of, you know, gave me another replacement headset, which I opened at Best Buy to ensure I didn't get scammed again. So you won't see me breaking the plastic seal just now because I redid that Best Buy just to ensure I got my expensive investment of headphones. But can you imagine you didn't run a YouTube channel and you didn't record videos? How would the store take it then? They would actually think that you're the one scamming them when you're the one that gets cheated out. Pretty scary stuff, right? So. Let's continue on with the unboxing. So this is the unit I opened at Best Buy. So it's uh, a legit unit for sure. I know that much. And um, yeah, no, no Play-Doh or Putty in the actual hard case. There's actually headphones in there. I just can't believe this happened to me. It's never happened to me out of all the dozens and dozens and dozens of devices I'm unboxed. The only time that something close to that happened is when I ordered a Samsung SmartThings hub across the border. and. Customs opened it, but everything was relatively intact um, as normal for the most part. So let's get to the actual headphones. So I'm just going to open up the hard case. And yes, it is a hard case. It's not soft, which is nice, um, especially because it will protect your investment. So there are the headphones itself. Pretty interesting that they fit in such a small area, especially considering they're over the ear type headphones. Um, look really sleek, very minimalistic because, well, there's, there's like no control buttons, it's all touch based, right? So it's pretty cool. Um, wondering how it'll perform uh, touch commands, but that'll be in the review. Keep going. So there's a headphone jack. I was really surprised about this. I didn't know about the headphone jack until I, I took them out of the box. So there's a headphone cable. And of course, you have a USB C cable for recharging the headphones. A tad bit small. Um, but we'll get into that in the review. <clears throat> and one more thing, um, again, I didn't know about this until I actually bought it and I saw it on the box was listed, that there is an adapter for plane connectivity. So you have the headphone jack, which then connects into this, and you can use it on airplanes. This, like Sony really thought about the, the customer here. Great job. And of course, our case is hard. So let's continue on with the more boring stuff, I guess. Gotta cover it all, right? So here's the documentation. I'm going to go over it very quickly. So we have the limited warranty information for US and Canada because I am in North America. And switching over to this pamphlet, this looks to be a quick start guide. Um, typical of Sony with their just quick pictures to kind of get things rolling. 
uh, the, even though they have very little words or next to none, Sony does a pretty good job explaining of how things work. Um, it's headphones at the end of the day, so it's not that complicated. And I'm stumbling and fumbling with this documentation here. So this is this additional instructions, uh, looks like specifications and safety in various languages as well. And again, just uh, notice from the manufacturer, which is Sony in this case. So yeah, uh, the scam is sorted out now, uh, thankfully, and you can find a link to the review in the video description. Be sure to hit that like button, it does help. Check out my social links also in the video description. Subscribe and thanks for watching.